many in the field avoid the term calling themselves a thought leader. They say, I practice thought leadership because in that mindset, it's like yoga or meditation. It is the journey rather than I got a gold star or I got a diploma, therefore I am a thought leader, right? So, but what is thought leadership? What I come back to is as a function, it's taking ideas to scale. And there are many ways to help that happen. I think many of us get into business. Many of us go even into the world of nonprofits to create impact. And if we're not thinking about that, set that aside. But if you want to create impact, whether for your customers or for your organization or yourself, you have to become a student of the question, how do I create impact? And throughout history, a lot of impact has been created through ideas, ideas that become successful, that spread, that other people adopt. I mean, we have a general business lexicon. We use the term thought leadership. We use the term trusted advisor. And if you trace the language trusted advisor back, that's uh, David Meister, Charlie Green, and Galford that coined the term in the late 90s. Now, there are people who I've heard use that term who've never read the book, never knew, but they under something that was invisible has been made visible and been defined. And so that process of peering around the corner into the future, finding the good ideas, bringing them back and saying, here's what you can do today, a small practical step. That's the process of thought leadership. 